Does Pluto hold the key to understanding life beyond our solar system? This distant world shrouded in ice and darkness has captivated the imaginations of astronomers and scientists for decades. Far from being a mere ball of ice, Pluto reveals itself as a dynamic world with a heart of nitrogen ice and towering mountains of frozen water. This unchanged world is considered the time capsule of our solar system. But why is this dwarf planet so significant? What secrets does it still hold for understanding the building blocks of life? These are the mysteries of Pluto, a world that despite its small size, commands a significant place in the narrative of space exploration. Back in 2006, NASA kicked off an adventure that would forever alter how we see the outskirts of our solar system. The New Horizons mission wasn't just another spacecraft darting into the unknown, it was our very first messenger to Pluto, a far-off world wrapped in enigma. When New Horizons swooped closest to Pluto on July the 14th, 2015, it peeled back the curtain of a planet teeming with surprises. This instantly changed the notion of a simple, frozen dwarf planet, and in its place stood a vibrant world brimming with geological marvels. So what did the New Horizons mission reveal? As New Horizons zipped by Pluto, it snapped shots that laid bare a terrain rich in wonders. Among the eye-openers were Sputnik Planitia, a colossal glacier of nitrogen ice so vast it forms one half of the heart-shaped marvel known as Tombaugh Regio. But this glacier isn't just some ordinary ice slab. It's a buzzing hub of Pluto's geological activity. The discovery of Pluto's thick ice crust energizes theories about the possibility of life. Surrounding Sputnik Planitia are majestic mountains of ice as huge as Earth's rocky mountains, defying what we thought we knew about planetary geology and suggesting that even the frosty outskirts of our solar system can host worlds bursting with geological life. But maybe the most jaw-dropping find was the hint of cryovolcanoes, suggesting Pluto might be warm at the core despite its small size and the vast distance from the Sun. This bombshell implies that Pluto could be geologically humming along. These inner workings aren't just intriguing, they crack open a window to the dawn of our solar system. Diving into Pluto's geology, scientists are now piecing together the puzzle of how planetary bodies came to be and evolved across our cosmic neighborhood. The ripple effect of these discoveries stretches way beyond Pluto. They toss a wrench into our old views of planetary science, showing us that even the small remote members of our solar system family can be teeming with geological action. This activity hints at the forces at play in the early solar system, illuminating the birth and growth of other planets. Pluto's geological spectacles, from its expansive ice plains to its sky-high mountains and potential cryovolcanoes, aren't just quirks of a distant planet. They're signposts of the dynamic forces sculpting our solar system. Through the eyes of the New Horizons mission, Pluto has been reborn, not as a cold dwarf planet, but as a crucial clue in unraveling our solar system's epic story. The treasure trove of data from New Horizons is still being sifted through, with each piece of knowledge deepening our fascination with this enigmatic world. With the mysteries of Pluto's surface unveiled, our journey takes a shift towards the skies. Nestled in the frosty outskirts of our solar system, Pluto contains an atmosphere that's nothing short of a cosmic conundrum. This delicate mix, a concoction mainly of nitrogen with dashes of methane and carbon monoxide, spins a story of endurance and intricacy. Far from the sun's warmth, you'd expect Pluto's atmosphere to be a mere whisper of gases. Yet what we find is a vibrant, ever-changing veil that defies the chill of space, painting a picture of a world pulsating with more vigor and vitality than we ever imagined. As Pluto orbits in its elongated path around the sun, it edges closer, then drifts away, subjecting its atmosphere to a roller coaster of extremes. Nearing the sun, the chill of Pluto's nitrogen ice warms, leaping directly from solid to gas, puffing up the atmosphere. As it goes away, the atmosphere cools, shrinking back with portions of it crystallizing back onto the surface. 
So why is this rhythmic expansion and contraction significant? Diving into these atmospheric conditions offers astronomers a celestial laboratory for deciphering the mysteries of air movements under conditions different from Earth. The mixing of methane and carbon monoxide with nitrogen in Pluto's air sheds light on the atmospheric alchemy of distant worlds. By unraveling the behavior of Pluto's atmosphere, researchers can hone their theories on how atmospheres evolved, not just from dwarf planets but also those circling distant stars. This exploration is pivotal for piecing together the climate puzzles of exoplanets, many of which circle their stars in orbits wildly different from our own familiar solar paths. The fascination with Pluto's atmosphere extends beyond the boundaries of a single distant dwarf planet. It serves as a portal to broadening our understanding of atmospheric conditions on planets throughout the universe. The revelations from Pluto enable scientists to untangle the atmospheric tapestry spanning the galaxy. From Venus's thick, sweltering cloak to Mars's thin, fleeting veil and beyond. Pluto, with its thin, nitrogen-laden air, reminds us that even in the far corners of the cosmos, complex and dynamic atmospheric conditions unfold. Probing the climate of this remote world isn't merely an academic quest. It's an odyssey into the uncharted, pushing the frontiers of our comprehension and challenging our preconceptions of what's possible in the celestial wilderness. And the fascination extends beyond Pluto. Its moons also hold significance. At the heart of Pluto is Charon, Pluto's largest moon, which is so considerable in size relative to Pluto that they form what's known as a binary system. This unique pairing where the moon is half the size of its planet is more than just an anomaly. It's a window into the early dynamics of our solar system. Charon's surface is a canvas of canyons and plains, each telling a story of geological processes that might seem familiar, yet are played out under the alien conditions of the outer solar system. These features suggest a past that was anything but quiet, hinting at events that shaped not just Charon but Pluto itself. The interaction between Pluto and Charon is a play of gravitational forces, one that influences their orbits and rotational states, locking them in a synchronous embrace where each shows only one face to the other. Accompanying Charon are four smaller moons, Styx, Nix, Kerberos, and Hydra. These moons add layers to the mystery of Pluto's family with their varied shapes and seemingly chaotic orbits. Their existence suggests a violent history, possibly a cataclysmic event that birthed them. Scientists believe that a massive collision in the distant past scattered material into orbit around Pluto, which eventually coalesced into these four moons. This theory not only explains their formation, but also ties them to the broader narrative of the Kuiper Belt, a region filled with remnants from the solar system's early days. Beyond the immediate family of Pluto and its moons lies a vast frontier, teeming with ancient relics. Nestled on the outskirts of the Kuiper Belt, Pluto acts as a doorway to one of the last uncharted territories of our solar system. This immense area lying beyond Neptune is like a cosmic attic filled with relics from the solar system's infancy. In this chilly void, a myriad of objects, from minuscule ice fragments to dwarf planets like Pluto, move around the Sun, a performance that has been going on for eons. The Kuiper Belt isn't merely a cluster of frozen objects, it's a glimpse back into the solar system's formative years. Each entity within this collection holds a story from the time when planets were taking shape and the blueprint of our solar system was being made. Pluto and its kin, through their position, makeup, and actions, provide a unique window into this pivotal epoch. Diving into the study of these bodies allows us to piece together narratives about the spread of materials, including the organic compounds, crucial for life as we understand it. The makeup of the Kuiper Belt objects is so untouched by the sun's heat or by cosmic collisions that they are seen as the leftover building blocks from the time our solar system was born. Deciphering their composition offers insights into the early solar system's environment and the processes at play. 
as we look back from the edge of the Kuiper Belt, we're confronted with a debate that challenges our very perceptions of the cosmos. Back in 2006, the world of astronomy hit a crossroads that would forever change how we picture our celestial neighborhood. Pluto, which had been comfortably sitting in the ninth spot since its discovery back in 1930, saw its cosmic status get a major shakeup. The International Astronomical Union IAU, the organization in charge of naming and classifying objects in space, rolled out a new rulebook on what makes a planet a planet. This wasn't just a minor tweak in terminology, it kicked off a fiery debate that's still capturing the imagination of scientists, teachers, and space enthusiasts everywhere. But why did this happen? At the heart of this debate is the IAU's checklist for planetary fame. To be classified a planet, a space body needs to do three things. Orbit the sun, be spherical in shape due to its own gravity, and have a clean path around the sun free of space debris. Pluto has the first two, but falls short on the third thanks to its path that mingles with debris in the Kuiper Belt. But despite its reclassification, Pluto remains an untouched treasure trove of information, offering scientists a unique glimpse into the cosmos that could unlock the secrets of life's origins in the universe.